morning. I'm in Wales um, and I really, really wanted to go hiking this weekend. But it's really rainy. <laughs> so I'm, well, I'm currently in Cardiff. I'm going to do some jobs on the, like, on the van. I have to get some new tires. So that's my mission this morning. And then I'm gonna drive up into the Brecon Beacons and see what is possible. I think it's gonna be super wet. Um, but hopefully I can get a hike in anyway. Third time lucky. I made it to a place that's gonna change three of my tires. Two of them were so bad. Finally, it stopped raining in Cardiff. So I've just been, after getting my tires done, I've just been to Acosta to use the toilet primarily, <laughs> have a coffee and I've been doing a course that I've enrolled on uh, to like see out the rain. Now I'm gonna head an hour drive into the Brecon Beacons, into the hills and fingers crossed it's not raining there and I can go for a little hike, warm the legs back up. Um, and get out into the nature. The one thing about not having a toilet in the van is that I have to every day, unless I'm in the middle of nowhere, like a forest or something, every day find somewhere to go to the toilet, which is fine, it's easy to do, especially in the UK where everywhere is so populated, but it does cost me money every day. It costs me the price of coffee pretty much every day, so it's a little bit expensive, but, I think I would still rather that than have to find somewhere to empty the toilet. So, you win some, you lose some. So, I drove here like an hour and a half. Um, I'm in the middle of the western Brecon Beacons. I've been here like 45 minutes and for half an hour it was like a torrential downpour, honestly. Um, so I was like, right, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna leave it. But now the rain stopped and it's brightened up a bit. So I'm thinking about going hiking. Let's see, let's brave it. Okay, so I don't think it's that warm out. But also, I'm going to be going uphill and, and then running back down, fingers crossed. So I've just got my sports bra and my leggings. These are great when they're wet. It kind of rolls off them, which is awesome. Bands are small. A long sleeve. And I'm going to take this raincoat that I bought from a charity shop the other day, because I forgot mine in France. Also... It's going to be a super wet run, slash hike, and tomorrow I want to hike Penavan, um, which I've never done before, and the weather's a bit better tomorrow, so I'm going to go in my road running shoes, which are a bit trashed. They're going to get soaked, I know that for a fact, so I don't want to go in my trail shoes because I want to save them for tomorrow. I'm hidden up there. It looks stunning. Let's go. Sometimes patience is virtue. Look at this. Look at this. Already, we have to cross a stream. God, check out this view. I didn't hike in so long. Over the winter, I didn't hike, obviously. Um, it feels so nice to be back out. <laughs> Look how amazing it is! I don't know if it's a little optimistic to have taken off my shit. <laughs> But it's so nice right now. Wow, what a contrast to like half an hour ago. And I'm half running, half walking. 
up the hill and I'm a little sweaty already. <laughs> Let's hope it stays like this. I cannot even describe how nice this feels. And the mountains surrounding me are so dramatic. <laughs> Especially this one here. A tip, because I just forgot this, I clearly haven't hiked in a long time. <laughs> um, download the map onto your phone or whatever navigation device you're using because I forgot to download it and I obviously lost signal and my app logged itself out and wouldn't log in because there was no internet and wouldn't load the map because there's no internet. So I just had to go back into a place with signal and download the map ready for the hike. So remember to download your maps. The path is essentially fog. I don't know if you can see it. We definitely recommend waterproof shoes for this hike. Um it's basically oh no. It's actually quite refreshing. what I stumbled upon. How beautiful. The only things I can hear are the birds tweeting, the streams flowing, and the squelch of my shoes. <laughs> it's lush. So I'm at the top, nearly. If I go that way, that goes up to the top of the like highest part of the hill that you could see from the lake. But well, I'm going this way to find some plane crash ruins, which should be cool, I hope. The weather is a bit more weathery up here. <laughs> hope, it, hope it doesn't rain on me. I ran down this hill. <laughs> oh my god. My shoe is stuck. <laughs> That's me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. That was that was a deep bog. <laughs> anyway, stick to the path. Down here is the crush site and I can actually see the already. So this here. Wow, that's a pretty stunning view. Wild. Wow. As I was walking down, I was like, is this real? <laughs> How do I get across?
if you want a little bit of history, it's the Vampire VZ106 plane that crashed in, I want to say the 9th of October, but double check it, 1953. <laughs> Pretty crazy that so much of it is still here. Like you can still see like exhausts, parts of the engine, parts of the plane. Well, it's all the plane. <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm not sure why I find it so interesting, but I definitely do. <laughs> now to head back, back up and over. Not sure I'm over this view. <laughs> So I'm back at the up and over bit. My friend called me on the way up, which was a very nice surprise. I'm just looking over the lake and there are some people swimming in it. I would not have, <laughs> I would not be brave enough to do that right now. It's freezing or it would be freezing. I'm sure. Probably very nice though. Back down we go. I big time <laughs> nearly fell over properly. I would not recommend road running shoes running downhill in a wet bog. <laughs> it is so slippy. <laughs> I'm sli I'm like slipping like quite a long way. Every 20th step or so, it's really testing my balance. <laughs> and my hip flexors or my left hip flexor now is pretty sore. So we'll need to stretch that later. Made it back to my baby. What an awesome hike. It is super beautiful and I haven't washed in a few days now. So I'm gonna make the most of this waterfall and brave a dip. <laughs> Wish me luck. That felt so good. Just making some bean stew for dinner with a view. Did a hike, had a wash, and being fed, sat in the conservatory, as I like to call it. <laughs> I am one happy family. <laughs>